my opinion, today would have been a perfect day oh, for a hike mm -hmm. because I, I'm one of those people. I don't like the beating sun. You know, today when it was kind of overcast today, well, a little perfect. bit of sun is nice, but yeah. not all the time. Yes, yeah, right. so of course we had it earlier than the clouds, and what a great time of year to hike. You yes. know, everything's blooming, beautiful colors out there, pollen. and uh, pollen. <laughs> you know, that's killing a lot of people. Oh, you had right to bring now. it down, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've no, got the tree great. pollen allergy season, so yeah, you know that's kind of the give and take of yes. uh, the spring season, and it's starting to feel like spring out there. We're having the cool mornings, and it was. It was even a cool day. Our high temperatures today struggling because of the clouds out there and uh, it was only up to 62 in Greenville today. Should be close to 70 this time of year. We'll get close to that tomorrow. 62 in Anderson. Tacoa is 61. Only 58 for you into Asheville today with Greenwood 64. Newberry at 63. Looking outside right now our Harley Davidson of Greenville cam. You can see we have still a few clouds out there but we're beginning to clear things out and as we clear it out it's going to get chilly overnight, but a great night and morning for travel tomorrow. Good visibility, no problems there, and we're looking at dry conditions, and it's beginning to cool off now. Abbeville 49, green with the typical cold spot, already 49. 50 in Lawrence, 56 in Greenville, Clemson 56, 48 into Brevard, and 50 in Asheville right now. And tomorrow, the sun returns. It's going to be a beautiful end to the weekend. I'm forecasting a high of 72 for the upstate. Normally, 70 is the high, and for the mountains, 60. 63 for you, normally 65, so a tad below average. Here's Fox Radar 3D. This is a six hour replay. You can see those clouds that rolled in during the course of the day. We had a weak disturbance move through. You can see how we had some radar returns. The bark was worse than the bite here. You might have had a few sprinkles, but that's about it. And now we're beginning to clear things out, and that's going to set us up for that beautiful day tomorrow. We've got a system to the north. It's clearing out for us and points west to the south along a stationary front. We're looking at some showers and storms across Florida and then back to the west. This is high pressure that will be building in for your Sunday and look at all the clear skies across the plains and then that is moving into our neck of the woods as we go into tomorrow. Here's future cast for tonight. We start to clear things out. We're in good shape there. I don't think you have to cover the plants. You might want to do that in the mountains just in case in some of the higher elevations where you could see a few clouds early on your Sunday. Otherwise, if you're headed off to church for the upstate, we're looking at clear skies as we go into Sunday morning and then by the afternoon we're looking at a lot of clear skies a beautiful day and we're not done there we're looking at quiet conditions as we go into Sunday night and as we go into Monday one last dry and mild day with mostly sunny skies then things change we see a system moving out of the southwest into our neck of the woods and we're looking at Tuesday increasing clouds and here comes rain across the deep south and that's slated to move in later Tuesday afternoon and evening and some of that rain could be heavy and maybe some some rumbles of thunder Tuesday night that moves out Wednesday morning. We get a bit of a break Wednesday and then another shot of showers and maybe a few storms Wednesday night on into early Thursday. That's a leading edge to much cooler air for the end of the week into the weekend. Now, as far as the severe risk, look at this for Texas. Some of the same places that have been seeing the severe weather could see it again on Monday with that slight risk from Texas into the deep south. And now we see that risk move across the southeast and bumping into Eastern Georgia and parts of the upstate as we go into Tuesday. So we'll have to watch out for the potential low chance of severe weather and it's going to be a wet one, maybe inch and a half, maybe two inches plus of rain in some places. We'll have to watch that 44 tonight, mostly clear for the upstate for the mountains. 39 for you wind shifting to the northwest 63 tomorrow, Monday 69. Here come the storms, especially late Tuesday into early Wednesday. Then again, Wednesday into Thursday morning and it's going to cool down and for the upstate 72 to tomorrow, 73 Monday, and then the showers and storms Tuesday, close to 80 Wednesday as we see more storms Wednesday night into Thursday, then a big cool down Friday into Saturday. Highs only into the 60s, low 60s at that time. Make sure you log on to foxcarolina.com and click on weather. You can see my article talking about the sunshine, but then the changes ahead. Right now we're sitting at 56 in Greenville. Lots of great weather information on our new webpage, and you can check out our weather app as well. Go ahead and see Scan that QR code and you can download the app for free. Stay ahead of the storms and we have some coming next week. So make sure you do that. You can get it on Google Play and download it on the App Store as well.